I'm sure you hold that world dear to your heart and you don't ever want to let it go. Maybe you want to convert that world to a different platform. I'm going to be showing you how to convert your worlds from one platform to the next without any issues. So over on the Microsoft Store, I discovered this nifty little program, which is called JE2BE, which supports Java Edition, Bedrock Edition, and even 360 PS3. And the best part is, it is completely free. Once you load up the program, you've got four different conversion options. You can convert from Java Edition, Bedrock Edition, Xbox 360, or PS3. And you can convert those over to Java Edition or Bedrock Edition. So let's say I wanted to convert a 360 world to let's say Bedrock Edition. Well, I'll just select 360 and then I'll choose Bedrock. Then simply click on this button. And you need to locate your bin file, which in my case I have right here. And once you select that, go ahead and simply click start. And then it's going to start to extract the file. And from what I've noticed, this can be quite slow at times. The conversion is not complete. So we can either save it to the bedrock save folder, we can save it to a custom folder, or you can export it as an MC world. But however, I'm going to be saving it to the bedrock folder. But if you do have bedrock edition ready open, then it's recommended to restart it. Then next up, we're going to be converting a PS3 world to bedrock edition. So I'm going to select PS3, then I'm going to select bedrock, then next. Now instead of locating a bin file, you need to locate the game data file, which is what PS3 uses. So here's our world right here. So we'll open this up, then we have another folder. And inside this folder, we have the game data file. Then I'm just going to open this up. And just like before, it's going to extract, then convert the world. The conversion is all complete and you've got the same options as before so i'm gonna save it to the bedrock folder and that's pretty much going to cover the console conversions but next up let's go over bedrock and java so to begin with is bedrock so let's select from bedrock then to java then i click next now if you play bedrock edition then all of your world should be on the sidebar but however if your world doesn't show up then you can select an mc world file or the world folder itself. I'm going to be converting my Batcave murder mystery. Then I'll click next. If you have anything within your inventory, all of those items should transfer over without any issues. So I'm just going to click start. This is much quicker than when you're converting a console world. Our conversion is not completed, then we can either save it to the Java save folder, which for me it is grayed out because I use a different launcher. So we're going to be saving it in a custom folder in this instance. So let's we'll select this button. Then by default, it should open up, but however, for me, I use a separate launcher. I use the Modris launcher. So I'm going to select this folder. So I'm going to double click on this folder, then I'm going to click on Profiles, then I'm going to click on My Profile, I'm going to go down to Saves, and I'm going to need to make a new folder. Go ahead and call this wherever you like. Then click Create Folder. Then this will be where all your files will be placed. Then I'm going to click Choose, and it's now been completed. And if I click on show and explore, then we have a world right here. Then if I click on this, then all of our files have been put in there. Now next up, let's go over Java to Bedrock. So I'm going to select Java, then I'm going to select to Bedrock. And now in my instance, as I explained, I use a different launcher. So I will not have any worlds within the default Minecraft save folder. So instead, I'm going to need to select from a different directory. So I'm going to select this button. And I'm going to need to go back and I'm going to need to locate our saves folder. Which in my instance I have right here. I'm going to be converting this world right here. So I'm going to click select folder. Then afterwards I'm going to click start. And the conversion process will begin. And after a few seconds it is now being completed. So definitely very quick. And you get all the same options as before. So I'm going to save it to the bedrock save folder. It's now being completed. And that pretty much covers all the different conversions. So next up, we're going to test out the worlds. First up, we're going to take a look at Java Edition. And here you are within the world. It looks like the signs have converted properly. If I look within this dispenser, the stuff within the dispenser is located properly. And even stuff within the books are saved as well. And even paintings generate properly. And including things on like armor stands, stuff within item frames. Like that is definitely impressive, especially for free software. The next up, we're going to head over to Bedrock Edition. So unfortunately, when you do convert the worlds over, they do not display the names. Instead, they're just going to say world. But however, we're just going to go ahead and click on these. And we're just going to load them up and see what they are. And this is our PS3 save. So this is a city that is called Memorial City. So it's definitely not as big as a city. But I think this might have been like so much creative world. It definitely seems like it. But some really interesting builds in here. 
We got some skyscrapers. We've got ourselves a bunch of water everywhere. Like, you know, it's your standard PS3 world. It does look like it has converted properly. And this is our next world. So this is my new logic city that I have been building for many years. And it is something that I hold dear to my heart. We've got a few different districts. We have our medieval district, which is actually based off my first Hunger Games that I ever built on console edition. There's also mini games over there. We've got a futuristic district, and there's even a YouTuber district. Now, if you guys do want a more detailed tour of this world, then I recommend checking out Bigby Stats' channel because he actually did a world tour of this a few years ago. But for now, let's move on to the final world. So this has got to be our 360 world, without no doubt. We're inside the world, and where's the start? Okay, we need to go over this way. This is actually one of my favorite Hunger Games that I ever played on 360, but unfortunately we're not in the right tech pack. I'm going to need to activate the Master Chief Master Pack, formerly known as the Halo Pack, because originally this was made at the Halo Master Pack, which is actually one of my favorite Master Packs that did get released on console edition. This is called Halo Derailed, created by Phoenix, and not Phoenix SC, it did for Phoenix. Now originally you did end up spawning within the section, and if you did play Hunger Games, then you may be familiar with these maps. Of course, Phoenix, he made a lot of awesome things. There is a giant Master Chief statue. You got 400 bases. And you even got Covenant ships like Skyrims. And even the drop ships. Looks like everything converted properly. But as far as you're concerned, this is how you can convert your own worlds from different platforms. And it's just very, very easy and simple. Just by using this one program. So if you do want to check out this program, then there will be a link in the description. Then go ahead and let me know your thoughts below in the comments as well. If you enjoyed today's video, then leave a like, it's always appreciated. Subscribe if you're new around here, then don't forget to turn on notifications, then I will catch you next time. Goodbye.